So let's quickly start with this. And today I will share with you a technique that will give you goosebumps. Okay. <laughs> Gee, this is the purpose. But before I do that, let me clarify you a few things. Uh, after the previous video, many people have inquired about the Ashtakvarga course, right? For the time being, as of now, for this year and almost for the next year also, there is no course on Ashtakvarga that is going to be. This thing that is, you know, we did a previous class on the Ashtakvarga, we are doing this class on Ashtakvarga also. These classes are a part of the forthcoming Parashar course. The course is starting from 23rd of this month. It is both in English and Hindi languages, right? Because people have requested me, sir, do a course in Hindi, Hindi. So it is my third course in Hindi, but okay. Now people don't know about it. There's a hero planet in Hindi and a Falaj Jyotis Prakash in Hindi. This is going to be a third course, which will be in Hindi, English, both are separate batches. And in this course, we are going to cover all of specialities of BPHS or all of those principles which Parashar have covered and he have highly regarded as well. To start with, there are many courses in Parashar. There are there have been many people who have taught Parashar before me. There will be many people who will teach Parashar after me. There are many books on Parashar also, right? There are many versions of BPHS, many Sanskrit commentaries on BPHS, and all of these things are there. You read all of them, one side. What I will teach is one side. And those who have learned with me, they know it well, very well. Right. So, you know, like you can learn Parashar from any teacher, from any book, but the researches that I am going to share, the researches that I always share is something that is unfathomable, that you cannot imagine yourself. You know, all these things which can be easily guessed, easily learned. I don't waste my time teaching it, to be very honest with you. And this time is important. If you can yourself guess it, what is, what is the use of me wasting? half an hour, one hour or two hour of the class, right? So the course is there. And this is what I will say, like, see all the courses, not only this, all the courses are never before, never after. And you know, only Shubham Allah can teach it. That's the thing. Other people may copy it. That is okay. But you can copy the title. And I am the director of the content. That is in my hands. Okay. So let's start with it. And we are clear with <coughs> sorry. We are clear with Ashtakvarga. And there are two uh, parts of it, right? That is a Sarvashtakvarga. There is a Bhinnashtakvarga. And there is a Prastarashtakvarga, right? So there are three things. Summarize, summing it up. When, when you open, say Ashtakvarga is what? In Ashtakvarga, we analyze all of the eight planets separately, Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, Saturn, and Ascendant. These are the eight factors. We take the position of these eight factors in the horoscope. Wherever they are situated, we make that house as an Ascendant. Other planets will be situated in other houses. And different planets in the Ashtakvarga of different, different planets give different, different points. Right? So that makes up Ashtakvarga. There are three uh, variations of it. There is something known as Bhinnashtakvarga. See, the basic is Bhinnashtakvarga. For example, right now, you can see over your screen here. So this is AS for Ascendant, SU for Sun, MO for Moon, MA for Mars, ME for Mercury, JU for Jupiter, VE for Venus, and SA for Saturn. Okay. The places where these planets are situated are highlighted in the dark that you can see. So if I have to calculate the Ashtagvarga from Saturn, how I will do it? I will make the Rashi where Saturn is situated as the ascendant. Different planets will be situated in the same Rashis. Houses will change, right? Because now the reference is shifting from the ascendant to Saturn. Then there will be different planets being situated in different houses, which will give point to other, other, other houses, right? This is what makes an Ashtagvarga. This makes an Ashtagvarga of Saturn. 
when i want to make an ashtavarga for jupiter what i will do i will uh, change the horoscope to start from jupiter other planets will be situated in other houses and they will give different different point to different different houses right this is what makes a bhinnashtavarga okay this bhinnashtavarga conjoined together makes this sarvashtavarga which is an addition of all these eight different bhinnashtavargas right and then there is something known as prastarashtak varga so in the ashtak varga of saturn you see that ascendant is only getting one point so who is that one planet who is giving the point that is known through prastarashtak varga you right click over it so pav prastarashtak varga of saturn and you see that the ascendant only ascendant is giving point in the ascendant in the ashtak varga of saturn hence one point this point is extremely clear there should be no confusion about okay so the research and the mind blowing research and let me tell you this is almost unfathomable what i am going to teach you this is very expensive it is only five words the base of it is five words and from those five words you get this whole thing uh five words don't even complete a shloka and the text of bphs is huge it is around 100 chapters you know the course content is so big that i am afraid that i will not be able to cover it in five months i still i have to do it and so these are the few sprouts that i am like okay this is a little bit non important let's put it for public non important things okay so listen to it very very carefully <clears throat> this works in two ways for the analysis of a house and for the analysis of a planet though i should teach the analysis of the planet before and the analysis of the house later on but for the sake of it i will teach the analysis of the house before and the analysis of the planets later on okay when you have want to analyze a house any house right you have the horoscope any house that you want to analyze what you have to do is you have to write the points but uh, ju just a second we skipped at that so there are eight reference points right eight reference points which make an ashtavarga right? it is known as an ashtavarga because there are eight reference points right so any house in ashtak varga can get a maximum of 8 points it is not in sarva ashtak varga it is in bhinna ashtak varga right we have covered this in the previous video also repeating any house in the ashtak varga of a planet can get maximum 8 numbers for example if you see the ashtak varga of moon the 10th house is getting 8 points complete 8 points right maximum is 8 point in the bhinna ashtak varga of planets okay understood now basically when you calculate the ashtak varga there are positive points given and negative points given but when it is calculated in a software you see only positive points you don't see a negative point okay <coughs> let me explain see the ashtak varga of moon Ten thousand is having eight points maximum. These are eight good points. Got my point? Now come to the eleventh house from moon. It is having five points. What does it mean? It is having five positive points. Total points are eight. Five is written because there are five positive points, and the remaining points are negative. So, how many negative points are there? Three, right? So, in the eleventh house from moon, there are five positive points. Five is written, and three negative points, right? Eight minus five is equal to negative point. Eight minus the number is equal to negative point falling in that house. Are we very clear? For example, in the seventh house in the ashtak varga of Saturn, there is zero point. that means all eight bad points zero positive point all eight bad points 
So this is clear. There should be no confusion about it, right? Good. Good. Now the analysis of a house is simple. And this is just from the four, the four, five, four or five words of a shloka, right? So be very careful about it. If you want to analyze any house, take that house. Remember the order, okay? Take the house. There will be a number of points given in that house in the Ashtakvarga of Ascendant. Be clear about it. This, this will become confusing. In the Ashtakvarga of Ascendant, Bin Ashtakvarga of Ascendant, that house will get a particular point, okay? You have to write that point, how much positive point is there, how much negative point is there. Positive point is just written in the Ashtakvarga table. Negative point, 8 minus the positive point is equal to negative point, right? This you are going to do for the ascendant, for the house. Hmm? I will give you an example. Now, three planets are to be considered, the house lord, the significator of the matter under judgment. Okay. I have to tell you about significators as well, which, who, which planet signifies what house, right? so that you don't become confused, so that I will come to. And the Ashtakvarga point of lord of that house. But here is a catch. When you check the Ashtakvarga point of the significator or the Ashtakvarga point of the lord, you check the points of that place where the planet is situated. Okay. For an example, going to the same chart, suppose I am going to analyze the 10th house. From ascendant, 10th house is getting six points, right? So six positive point, two negative point. Hmm? Then I have to analyze the 10th lord. That 10th lord is Venus. So I will go to the Ashtakvarga of Venus and I will not check the point Venus is giving to the 10th house. No. I will check the point Venus is getting in that house where he is situated. Right, the highlighted part. So Venus is situated in the sixth house getting two positive points and six negative points. Hmm? Then comes the significator. The significator of the 10th house is which planet? Suppose we are analyzing a profession. Mercury. Mercury. This is brilliant. Mercury. The significator of the 10th house is Mercury. Don't tell me, Sarah. This upsets me. If, sage, if sages must have listened to it, they must have committed suicide. Yeah. Significator is Mercury. We see the points Mercury is giving, getting or giving, not in the 10th house, but the place where he is situated, right? So Mercury is situated in the 7th house getting five points, five positive points and three negative points, right? Eight minus five is equal to three. So three negative points, right? Now add these, add the positive points, add the negative points and you see whether the positive points are more or negative points are more, right? I will give you an example. In a while, before that, I will talk about other things and we'll check your retention capacity. How much you, how much retention you have. See, astrology is a scholarly subject. So you cannot give an excuse that, sir, I forget. Then don't come into any scholarly subject very soon. Okay. Now, if there is a planet in that house, then you also add the point of the planet. Right? Point of the planet, whoever is situated in that house, you also add the point of that planet as well. For example, if I was about to analyze the seventh house, I will see the point seventh house is getting in the Ashtakvarga of Lagna. I will see the point seventh lord is getting where he is placed, five, seventh lord is Saturn. I will check the point the significator is getting where he is situated, Venus situated in sixth house, getting two points. And I will also check the point of Jupiter, Jupiter in the seventh house, right? Taking, having six points. 
and also take the point of Mercury situated in the seventh house, giving five points, right? So if there are planets situated there, also take the planet into consideration, okay? Now comes one more question, sir. What if Rahu Ketu are situated? Because there is no Ashtakvarga for Rahu Ketu. Hmm? So when Rahu Ketu are situated, you are supposed to, for Rahu, see the Ashtakvarga of Mercury and for Ketu, see the Ashtakvarga of Jupiter. Okay? This I have also told in, I think, the second newsletter. Like for Rahu, the Ashtakvarga of Mercury and for Ketu, the Ashtakvarga of Jupiter should be a share. By the way, I write a free newsletter every Sunday. That is no less than an article. And then that is sent to all of the people who have subscribed to the newsletter free of cost. Right. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. And there are many important tips, tricks, and many things. I don't, don't like praising about myself. So, but the content produced is gold. The simple case. Right. Less than the gold standard, I don't produce. Right? Because the time is precious. So why waste your time in something that is not up to the standards? Right? That I don't do. But for Rahu and Ketu, example, Rahu is situated in the ninth house. It, the points of Rahu should be seen in the Ashtakvarga of Mercury. But for Rahu, I will see how much point Mercury gives to the ninth house where Rahu is situated in his own Ashtakvarga. Okay, this point is clear. So Mercury in his Ashtakvarga gives four points to the ninth house where Rahu is situated. Hence for Rahu, I will take four point positive, four point negative. This is clear? Clear. So retain this rule, remember this rule till I teach you the other sign the significator of houses. The significator of the first house is sun. Okay. Sun for uh, longevity, uh, body, name, fame, status, etc. etc. Very few houses have more than one signification, but also you can include other planets as well. For an example, if you want to check the first house with respect to disease, the significator for disease will be Saturn. And so you make sure what matter you are inquiring in. The significator for the second house is Jupiter as it signifies wealth. The significator of the third house is Mars for courage and siblings and Saturn for servants. Significator of the fourth house will be moon for mother, Mercury for education and a Venus for vehicle and luxury comforts. Moon for mental stability and Mars for properties. The significator of the fifth house will be Jupiter for children. The significator of sixth house will be Mars for wounds, accidents, enmity, etc. And Saturn will be the significator of the sixth house for disease. The significator of the seventh house is Venus for marriage. Significator for eighth house is Saturn for disease. And Mars for Attacks, wounds, what is it? What is Ang Bhanga called? Uh, Mars will be the Karka for uh, wounds, attacks, and loss of limbs regarding 8th house. The significator of the ninth house is Jupiter for fortune and Sun for father. 10th house significator is primarily Mercury. But for the matter of name, fame, and status, the significator will be sun. Right, the growth of uh, growth of uh, work, growth of professional, growth of business, ten thousand significator will be Jupiter, and Saturn is ten thousand significator for no purpose. The eleven thousand significator is Jupiter for gains, fulfillment of wishes and desires, and twelve thousand significator is Saturn for misery. But you can look at other things related to that house also if you think that those significations come under the rulership of that house and you can take an appropriate karaka for that matter. This is clear? Clear? Not clear. Hmm. Let's take a few examples. You have to apply the rule. I will be helping you. 
you can just unmute your mic and do it. So for this horoscope, <clears throat> I want to analyze the seventh house. Mm -hmm. What I should consider, let me write positive, negative points and the factor. The first contributing factor is Lagna Ascendant. Ascendant is giving how many points in the seventh house? Four. Four positive, four, 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 negative. Positive, four point negative. Okay. Then Lord. Then we come to the house Lord. House Venus. Lord Venus. Right? Yes. Venus is situated in the 12th house, giving three points, getting three. Getting three, eight, uh, yeah, five, five negative. And five negative points. Then we come to Karaka. Karaka will be Venus itself. Yes. So five negative point, three positive point. Right? House, house lord, significator. Three things we have covered. There is no planet in the house. No so that we don't have to cover. Now add this together. Positive points are a total of 10. Negative points have a total of 14. So marital life is good or bad? <laughs> bad. Bad. Simple. The thing will entirely change. If I change the Karaka to Mercury. Suppose I want to analyze business. Okay. 7,000 is not bad for everything. So suppose the person is into business and he thinks, sir, okay, what about business? Is 7,000 extremely bad? See, this is the basic philosophy that I believe in. Nothing is completely good or bad. Come out of this prejudice. Completely bad, completely good is never the case. Right? Life is in the gray portion in between. So if I want to analyze the beginners, significator will be Mercury. More bad, sir. Three, same three, five. The three good points and five bad points. So that will have a total of 12 positive points. Wrong so, idea, sir. Bulta like the, yeah. Three good point, five bad points. Hmm. Same. The 10, sum 14. total will be 10. 14. And the sum total will be 40. So for the matter of business also, it doesn't seem to be very, very good. Right? Suppose we want to see about fights. Seventh house also indicate war. And this I was teaching yesterday in one of the course. That seventh house indicate war. Fight, competition. Mars so what do you do with that? Yes, madam, you're right, Mark. We will take Mars. But just a second. In Vedic astrology, there is, you know, I think the biggest secret is to understand what to analyze or what to use for what purpose. This is the most important task. So seventh house is seen as war. What do you do with that? Or sixth house is also war. Nowadays, no one goes on a war. So what is the purpose of that? It has purpose in politics. There is a war there, right? the war of voting, the war of support. So you see the chart of politicians, Indira Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Modi ji, seventh, seventh house will be extremely powerful. Modi ji has seventh lord in own house in the second house. Indira Gandhi, seventh lord in ascendant, Jawaharlal Nehru, seventh lord in ascendant. This war is politics. So suppose this person asked me, sir, I want to go to politics. You are saying business is also not good. Marriage is also not good. So then let me go into politics. The significator for war will be Mars. That is situated in the 12th house with one good point and seven bad points. 
So the total good point will be eight, and the total bad point will be sixteen. So politics also big no no, should not go. So I am just changing the significator and doing it. Now this person asked me, sir. should i start a business in the name of my mother see i am telling you uh, what i am telling you the secrets of how to cheat <laughs> with astrology you know this is what i am teaching you right now so the seven thousand bad person cannot do business himself but he is very much interested in business and my business is not to share your dreams certainly Right, to give a new direction to your dreams you want to become a lawyer i tell you to become a astronaut you will make to uh, uh, you you will make to people fight because you are basically a lawyer by motivation right so that should not be that so okay what i do is i give him a way right that okay why don't you do it in the name of someone else you start a business in the name of someone else someone else that you trust and then do the thing in that will you be successful for success we see which house 11th from 10th house 10th house for success so let's see 10th house from the ascendant getting six positive points two negative points just analyzing the 10th house the 10th house lord is sun situated in the 11th house getting five positive points and three negative points right the karaka for business because what i am telling him i am not telling him to join a job i am telling him to go do a business in the name of your mother right so make make your mother the proprietor of the business and you are under her okay so for that matter i will take mercury as the significator hmm? mercury goes to the 12th house have three point three positive point and five negative point okay but there is also planet situated in the house that is saturn because there is a planet situated i have to take the signification of planet as well take the points of the planet as well hmm? that planet is saturn situated in the 10th house getting four points so it will be four positive points and four negative points the total of the positive points will be 18 and total of the negative points will be 14 here you go open the company in the name of your mother spouse anyone and you work success is there but don't start the com company in your own name this is what we learn from it right the result of 10th house is quite person is successful yes are we very clear as we are taking mother sir nowhere in calculation moon will come no 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 any any person i am telling just just by look working for someone else is good mother i said because mother is trusted i will tell do a business with your friend yesterday your friend will cheat you and the result of war is also not good <laughs> so you also cannot pursue him so he will lose the business and will then sit on my head he said you told me now you give me my money back <laughs> okay let's try to see some other horoscopes let's see about child let's see about child in this same horoscope okay there is there will be an example of ketu as well for child i have to see the points ascendant uh, is giving in the fifth house three points positive point i am writing negative point let's calculate later on the fifth lord is jupiter situated in the ninth house having seven points okay seven points the significator of the child is once again jupiter situated in the ninth house getting seven points okay seven points and in the fifth house there is ketu there is no ashtavarga for ketu so i should check the ashtavarga of jupiter 
but the ashtak varga of jupiter and the point that jupiter is giving in the house where ketu is situated so ketu is situated in the fifth house jupiter mm -hmm. is giving five. five points in the fifth house five points negative factors three positive points so there will be five five negative points seven positive five. points so one negative point one negative point three negative point okay the total of the positive point will be 22 and the total of the negative point will be 10. Just give me a second. Yeah. So this is the result of the fifth house. And shall I tell you the importance of the technique? I should, I should tell you. See, it have been 43 minutes in the class. 43 minutes is a huge time, isn't it? Yeah. So why we have wasted 43 minutes into a technique? Because it is brilliant. This person had no child by any means. But the horoscope indicates child. Right? The result of child from the fifth house is supposed to be good. But this person had no child. Even till I think 35, 36, he had no child by then. But I am very firm about this person having a child. Later on, he did an IVF that was successful. Now he have twins, one male, one female. Because the fifth house from this method gives me promise. So I will remain firm on my funda that no. My calculation tell you will have a child, so you will have it. Sir, we are getting old. There are very less chances. I am very pretty similar. I don't understand that. I understand plan. Okay, what is life situation? See, I have, I have you know, one word answer. I tell you predictions. How it happened, that is dependent on God, right? I will tell you the time and I will tell you the prediction. By 2022, you will have children. That's all. Now, how you will have it, that is God to decide, right? Will you have it through any way that I don't tell? This is the importance of the technique. That's why we are wasting time over it. Because this needs to be calculated. This calculation at least will take five minutes of your life. And why you should spend five minutes manually calculating something if it is not giving you the desired result? Are you getting my point? Am I making sense to you? Good. I should. Let's take one more chat. Stories about predictions. On real horoscope, see, I don't fake things. You know, I am not like I did a prediction this this way to someone in this this year. No, I have all the horoscopes of all those people who I am predicted for, right? I take consultations even to this day and predict things, right? So no faking, nothing. This chart, same thing, child. Okay, let's try to see. In the fifth house, ascendant is giving four point. The fifth lord is Mars. Situated in the fourth house, having three points. The significator of the fifth house is Jupiter for child. Situated in the second house, having six points. And there is no planet situated in the fifth house. We are not considered. Four positive points, that means four negative points. Three positive points, that means five negative points. And six positive points, that means two negative points. So the positive point will be 13 and the negative point will be 11. He met me, I think somewhere around uh, 2013, 14, somewhere around he met me. He gave me a call, Subhamji. I have heard some Banaras astrologer taking a lot of name of someone. Uh, I have heard of Meta Banaras astrologer because he was child. He was the only child of his parents. He was quite, you know, like what to do, what not to do. He met with every Pandit and Banaras and he called me up that, sir, I have met this Pandit and Banaras and he was talking of a young guy from Bihar. I think it is you. I said, no, I am not the guy. Sorry, thank you. 
but still he persuaded me he was like no sir please every astrologer have told me that i will never have a child that you will see from the horoscope the fifth lord goes to the fourth house it is the balheen fifth house is having the aspect of rahu only and the significator of the fifth house is closely conjunct with the sun moon combination which forms an amavasya jupiter is also combust Fifth house is also having the aspect of Saturn. Two malefic influence of the fifth house: one of Saturn, one of Rahu. Fifth house Lord is with Balheen. Fifth house significator is Combust. But still, I told them that you will have a child. I think around two thousand fourteen, thirty, fourteen, fifteen. And then every four fourth month, he was like, "Sir, you said I will get a child. I haven't got a child. I haven't got a child." Because even here, you will get a child. You have some patience. And finally, he got a child in two thousand twenty, nineteen, nineteen twenty somewhere. He got a child. So the technique is very clear, right? Thirteen good points, eleven bad points. Good points are more. Okay, you will have it. No matter how many bad yoga has combinations in the horoscope, doesn't matter. I should I teach you something more? Okay. Let's talk about happiness. <clears throat> this person suppose is also struggling on the account of happiness so what do we think is this person someone who is very happy in life or not so happy in life so for that we have to see the fourth house for happiness in the bhinnashtaka varga of the ascendant fourth house is getting five points the fourth lord is venus which is situated in the ascendant having six points the significator for happiness is moon jupiter 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 dipali ji no dan sir jupiter jupiter is situated in the second house six point do you haven't read jupiter is the uh, sukh of kal purush sukha and gyan of kal purush Sun is the soul of Kalpurush. Moon is the mind of Kalpurush. Mercury is the vidya of Kalpurush. Jupiter is the uh, knowledge and sukha of Kalpurush. So who is Kalpurush? And why the sage is saying all this? He is wasting shlokas. So he is not like modern astrologers writing any book for promotion. No. And the planet in the fourth house is Mars, situated in the fourth house with three positive points. Now three minus eight, five negative points. Six minus eight minus six, two mm. negative point. Eight minus six, two point, and five minus six, three points. The total of positive points will be twenty. The total of negative points will be twelve. There, as the person is happy in life, Suki, happy. Now, this is there is one more glitch. This is the you know this is the most important thing I just told you. and this is the most most important thing to understand the word the rishi will say this person is sukhi what does sukhi mean do you translate sukhi as happy Now, i also write sukhi as happy only but it is not about what you write it is about what you should understand sukhi is enjoying the one who is enjoying his life so that doesn't mean you have a lot of vehicle or a lot of property etc you have good friends good family member and you enjoy every bit of life even in bad times that is what sukha is the person being sukhi or the person being happy doesn't translate into the person being successful as well right see people in village they have one cow one small family one spouse one child mother father living with them they are not rich but they are happy right compare this to a ceo of a company sitting in bangalore you know any top ceo i do a consultation for their first question is sir where i will find solace yeah you are at a top top paying job you are searching for solace and whoever comes from you know a village person and taking a consultation they are always like sir normal matters when i will have a child what education my child should have all these issues okay Let, let's try to see the last example we will do then we'll go to the planet coming to the 10th house now this person is not in a job 
sorry, this person, uh, there's a glitch about it. So once again, the karga reversal is what will happen. This person wanted to do a business. Okay, so what will happen? 10,000, the Binnashtak Varga of Lagna getting three points. 10th Lord is Mars situated in the fourth house getting three points. The significator for business will be Mercury. Situated in the third house getting four points in his own Ashtak Varga. There is no planet in the house. Let's leave. 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. So 3, 3, 4, total 10 good points. And 5, 5, 4, total of 14 bad points. So business he should not do. We are very certain about it. Hmm? He tried like when he was about to get married, he left his job in the wish to start a company. And for next seven years, he had started five companies and all of them failed very miserably. I told him that why you are going for a business? Why don't you try a job? Everything will be the same, right? So the significator of the Karaka will change. And the significate, who will be the Karaka for job? Hmm? Saturn. 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 Hmm? Yeah, Saturn. What does a servant do? Give you misery? What is a set? What is a servant supposed to do? It lead you to misery? Huh? Help you, Mars. Helping him. Mars is the servant. No? Mars is the servant of king, commander in chief. Third house significant is Mars. You have to be very uh, clear about it. Right? The servant is not supposed to lead you to misery. So Saturn is not. Saturn is an old man. See, suppose you want a house help. And you tell me, okay, sir, please suggest some house help. And I take with myself an 80-year-old guy that this is the house help. Will you employ him? I will not. No, never. I will never do. Come on. Interesting. Mars is situated. See, this is what I say. This is what I say. You know, we, we always talk about scientific temper, scientific astrology, then put our heads at home. We think scientifically, you know, then. So, Karaka will be Mars, situated in the fourth house, three points, leading to five negative points. So, three, 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 nine positive points, five, five, ten, then uh, fifteen. Negative points. Nine good points, 15 bad points. So basically, business is not good. And job also goes to the same. So it is neither business nor job. <laughs> For that, we have to see the fourth house. That is good though. And the fourth house is good. For agriculture, fourth house needs to be seen. Achha, if my question was self employment, Okay, sir, should I become self-employment? Should I become sir, a car? business. Ma'am, the... business is when you uh, make a product. And the self-service is like you being a carpenter. <laughs> and that, that is self-employment. That I am a carpenter. Thing will only happen when I do. Business is like I open a shop. My brother sits there. So that is business. Okay. And I need not go. But if I am a plumber, I will do everything. Electrician mm -hmm. is self-employment. Plumber is astrologer is self-employment. Mm -hmm. Right? I cannot make someone else sit in this chair and predict for you, and or teach you. It cannot happen. It is self-employment. It is never a business. Who will be the significator for self-employment? By the way, oh, that will be said. Employment, self-employment will be set. Okay. Positive factor, negative factor, significant. So it will also come to the same answer. The Saturn will also have three points itself, right? So it will be the same answer. So basically, for this person, nothing is going to be successful. 
according to sutpa ji we should go with the advice of sutpa ji and should tell him go to agriculture resort to your family business try to survive yourself because other things are certainly not working for him so that was the reality also but i don't want to go deeper into what was the prediction and what was not the prediction okay sir should we not see the 6th house or the 7th house uh, points in uh, for for job uh, we are only seeing 10th house points a 6000 7th house generally doesn't indicate that kitan ji to be very honest with you mhm 6th house indicate servant your servant not you becoming a servant okay you becoming a servant is always the 10th house business is also the 10th house you should never see 7th house or business also looking okay. at a uh, 6th house for job 7th house for business is the golden way to fail bridge golden way why golden way because 30% chart it works very well 70% of the chart it fails and the only problem with astrologers is na is that after the end of an year see i have this habit at the end of an year i make a note how many horoscopes i have consulted and in those horoscopes how many accurate predictions i have given and how many non accurate predictions i have given how many predictions i gave and how much of them came true so that tells me which technique to use and which technique to leave same thing goes with the same thing you uh, like you know take 10 horoscopes and try to time the getting of job using the 6th house the shantra the shop the 6th house transit of the 6th house and you will see it only works in 30 35% cases that is not a good number unreliable also if one cannot do that one should go with the classical opinion right because classics are being practiced since uh, 7 8000 years now and so 7000 year of astrological parampara i will tell you that 10th house indicates everything you know what what is the signification of the 10th house that tells us that 10th house indicate profession now well, this is a, this is a very interesting point 10th house is a significator of karma right karma means profession i donate money to my pandit yesterday that is a good karma but it is my job to donate money someone was dying in the river i jump save him okay that is a good karma but it is it my duty to jump in the river is it my profession no so is karma profession na there is a significator in the signification in the 10th house that tells you that it is it, it indicates to business or any employment that is vanij vanij is a signification of the 10th house that tells us that this needs to be seen for profession and vanij literally means anything that you do for earning of money so when you are serving someone without taking money like serving your guru that comes from the 6th house but when you take money for that you charge money for that that becomes vanij barter giving of service taking of money right that is what we do in job right we go to an interview we say sir i know these these skills that i will use for you 8 hours in the office and you give me this much money barter is happening the same thing we do in business this is my product this i have made for 20 rupees 10 rupees my profit i will sell it to you for 30 rupees so one is a barter is happening right you give me money i give you service or skill or anything that i have made right so this vanijya this barter giving your services or anything comes from the 10th house 6th house is uh, what 6th house is servant serving right and giving money to servant is is like nowadays we give money to servant right serving is more like serving in temples or later times you know this uh, many people were made slaves where they paid money slaves are never paid money right this is called mujdur a bandwa mujdur the one who is bound to work cannot refuse in office you can write a mail to your boss sir i need leave for today so you are not a servant otherwise he can refuse okay this is clear see what we need is a strong hold on classics because human life is not enough to make a research so rather than you know spending 30 years of life in self telling that this uh, in this 30 years i have experienced this thing take it as a research i try to resort to a uh, 5000 year old parampara that always saves me okay the second part of the technique <clears throat> is about the planet 
this translates to the dasha and pradasha of the planet you have to listen to it very very carefully once again you want to judge a planet suppose how the dasha and pradasha of the planet will be you can also use it to transit okay for transit also you have to use the natal ashtavarga only aha uh -huh. good what will you do you will take the you will resort to the ashtavarga of the planet under consideration okay you will resort to the ashtavarga of the planet under consideration one you will check the points positive and a negative he is giving to both his rashi okay and the points positive and negative he is getting in the rashi when he is situated make a total of that and you get the result for example mars in the horoscope let's try doing this for mars let me write mars here in the in his rashi we are only resorting with the ashtavarga of mars right no other ashtavarga at all only the ashtavarga of mars because we are judging mars in the 10th house where aries falls mars is giving three points so take it as three positive point in the 5th house where another rashi of mars is falling scorpio mars in his ashtavarga is giving two points right two points Mars is situated in the fourth house where he is getting three points, right? Three points. Three positive points means five negative point. Two positive point means six negative point, and three positive point means five negative point. Eight positive points, three three six plus two eight, and five five ten plus six sixteen negative points. So how is the dasha of Mars? pathetic this is what i say pathetic dainiya and pathetic is a condition where everyone thinks that okay do something good for this person that's a pathetic pathetic is na daini what induces daya in another person very very bad why very very bad because the difference is almost double if the difference is only 1 1.2 point it is okay okay and now greater the difference greater the difference right what to do if i have to judge the dasha of rahu i told you the answer use the ashtavarga of jupiter sorry mercury so mercury have two rashi one is situated in the third house mul trikona rashi vargo which is getting four points another rashi is gemini situated in the 12th house getting 6 points in the ashtavarga of mercury and rahu is situated in the lagna where mercury is giving 7 points 7 hmm? points so four positive points mean four negative point six positive points means two negative point and seven positive point means one negative point total of this will be 70 positive points and total of negative points will be seven negative points so when mars dasha started he got married after that he got multiple diseases diabetes this that etc etc and they were constantly trying for children and his wife have gone through almost eight miscarriages throughout mars dasha this was the time when he met me and i told him you just let rahu dasha rahu antar dasha come and then you see the result just as rahu dasha and also for this complete 7 7 years of mars 6 7 years of mars mahadasha he was completely unemployed trying his luck in different jobs and businesses that he was not getting and i told him just wait for the rahu dasha to come as rahu dasha and rahu antar dasha kicked in two months after that he got a job his wife conceived nine months after that he got a child and a job also this is the glaring difference between the mahadasha of rahu sorry versus the mahadasha of mars 
Are we very, very clear? Sir, one question. We will see these points from the Bhinna Ashtak Varga or the Bhinna Ashtak Varga only of uh, Mars or Mercury? For planet, Bhinna Ashtak Varga of only that planet which is under consideration. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good to go? Good to go. Very good. Yes, sir. Now, suppose I want to see how is the transit of Rahu Let's take a chart. Let's take a chart. Let's take this chart back to basic point one. So there is Rahu transit that have just happened to Aries and Rahu have just transited to Aries. How that transit is supposed to be. I will do all the step as it is for transit. Just the placement will be according to transit, according to transit rush. Okay. Placement will be in transit rashi. All other things will remain the same. For Rahu, we have to see the Ashtagvarga of Mercury. Mm -hmm. So we will only deal with Mercury Ashtagvarga here. The Muladrigona Rashi of Mercury comes in the 11th house where Mercury is giving four points. Rashi one, four points. The another Rashi of Mercury that is Gemini comes to the 8th house where Mercury is giving 6 point, 6 point. Rahu is right now transiting in Aries, which is the 6th house, which in the Ashtagvarga of Mercury is getting 3 points. Right? 3 points. 4 good point means 4 bad points. 6 good point means 2 bad points and 3 good points mean 5 bad points. Right? 4, 6, 3, total will be 13. And 4, 2, 5, total will be 11. Hence, the transit of Rahu is? Sudhapaji, you have a question? Yeah, Rahu 6th house, can't say, sir. Rahu, ha. transit, right? transit. Achha, Aries I, I was saying, okay, if, okay. if I have to see how is the transit okay. of Rahu in the 6th house, so I will just remove the placement original uh -huh. placement and take the point of that Rashi okay. where the planet transit. is going through in the transit. If I have to check the transit. Aries ka chart hai na, mujhe hai. <laughs> well, My natal Rahu is in Rahu. This, this is good. The planet coming back to their original position, madam, is almost a life-changing time. Though internally, like emotionally, mentally, it is a life-changing time. Mm. Physical events may not happen. But the thoughts, etc., take a shift. So the uses of this in transit is also pretty clear. In transit, it is clear. In Dasha, it is clear. Judging the effect of the house, it is clear. Oh, very good. So by the end of the <clears throat> last class, I also told you that there are three, four techniques that I have to teach. I decided I will teach it in the part two. But see, part two, I had a new technique. So that three techniques are still pending. Maybe some other day when I am in mood, we can cover that. And if not, then not. Now then the who can force. And so this is the technique all from my side. Though I wanted to include more techniques into it, but I don't want to confuse you. Just remember four or five things okay, from my side. If you are giving your time to astrology, Please only give time when it can do correct predictions for you. Otherwise, go sleep, have rest, watch movie. That gives you mental rest, doesn't it? Isn't it? Hmm? Oh, I see. I have a very simple philosophy. Spare time in those things that matter to you, give you a result. Only to astrology when you can make good predictions. And in astrology also, if you have to calculate anything, only do it when it leads you to good result. Otherwise, don't waste your time. Do something else. Right? Point one. Point two, the level of hard work should be equally proportional to the level of result. If I am doing a whole lot of hard work to find an answer which can be easily seen through other methods or which can easily be overpowered by other techniques, I am sorry, I will not waste my time. Thank you. I am also very clear about this. Right? That's why I don't practice many forms of astrology, many techniques I don't practice. 
and this was the basic reason that led me to research let me be very honest with you in germany and in everything i have a whole lot of researches only for the simple reason doing a complete analysis for 5 7 minutes and analyzing your result in 10 horoscopes if it is only giving you less than 60% or less than 70% result believe me it is not worth spending time like degree based dargara you take 10 horoscopes take degree based dargara and see their marriage you will see less than 60% of the chart it will become accurate because it is accurate in less than 60% of the chart i am sorry i am not this matter do it hence i either don't use the technique or make new researches which make it more accurate more accurate than 80% only then i spend my time to this is a pretty simple case and you as students followers or whatever you think of yourself these two three things please keep in mind otherwise while doing astrology you will be mere wasting your time nothing else there are a few things na if you love someone they should love you back otherwise don't spend your time right and this is all from this parashal pur this parashal sutra that we are going to do from 23rd english and the both batches that, that we have talked about at the starting and there is a lamba sa content hai i should read it oh my god there is a huge content for the course starting from the avastha and many many things we are covering avasthas dashas transits darshan chak ashtak varga this that like you go to the website and you go to this courses section and not read this page oh my god <laughs> just give me a second and in this courses section this is the course okay and we primarily are dealing with this 15 techniques 15 major topics and these are topics not techniques right and all of these will have like almost 10 to 15 techniques each and so when we say 10 to 15 techniques each 15 multiplied by 15 will be your answer to the number of techniques that i wish to teach minimum number of techniques that i wish to teach right if students are grasping cooperating we can go more deeper into it right this is the point one acha i am also thinking see i will not uh, what i will not say but i am also thinking to do a few more things i am almost making a 100 plus page pdf which i will give with the course so this is it this is by the name of parashar sutra so you can go and check it also sir who is the karka for uh, extra metal affair sir mercury mercury you are a student and you should not give answers and dekho mai old students to always know mercury but why mercury and this is an issue why mercury should be the karka for extra mat affair and not anyone else because mercury is a rajasic planet and it is rajas that leads you to do this i will give you one more example what is the quality of fire what does fire do so you know na mars is agni tatva sun is agni tatva okay it is agni tatva then what do you do with this agni tatva and make mango pickle achar dalenge what you will do with this agni tatva agni tatva have the quality of brilliance one of the quality many qualities agni tatva have one of that quality is brilliance so that basically means if any person and this is a very simple cute prediction if any person is having mars connected to the ascendant or aspecting the ascendant these people generally talking in the sense of woman applicable to men also this lady whom you know mars is aspecting to the ascendant or is situated in ascendant or this male also no matter even if they are 60 years of age they will be quite popular with opposite gender for male female for female male will be all you know going bazaar around them because it gives the quality of luster sun and mars so when sun or mars is connected to the lagna person is so lustrous that people of another gender are sticking to them always that luster comes from mars why because mars is an agni tattva also let me tell you one thing agni tattva causes explosion so whenever it is a dasha of a planet uh, who is afflicted by an agni tattva planet generally explosions happen leading to hemorrhage wards accidents etc 
This is the quality of Agni Tattva, right? And these qualities of Agni Tattva make the basic nature of the planet. So basically what happens in every course, I do something related to basics every time. And I have a very bad habit. I don't repeat everything. Like I have been teaching since 2019 for a very till that day to today. There is no technique which I have taught in two courses. Same technique, two courses is not my cup of tea. If I teach the same topic again, I will teach it with a new set of this always happens. Ask the apology, the apology is all story. This I never do. Right? So I have to teach basics as well. And what part of basic we are learning is this in this course, right? So how to make the signification of the planet is the like what topic I think is the most powerful topic of the course is this topic. And how to make the signification of a planet? If there is a confusion in the signification of a planet, how to clear it? Why Mercury should be a karga for beginners? And why Mercury should not be a karga for job? Like uh, Parashar will tell you that 10th house, Mercury is the karga. But it should be a karga for beginners. It should not be a karga for job. Because business is rajas. Rajas is when you are directly in connection to the prophet. This happens in business. In job, you are not directly in connection to the prophet. In job, you will earn money for the company. And company based on your performance will give you a hike. So this can only be signified by either Tamasic planet or Satvic planet. It cannot be signified by a Rajasic planet. Because Rajas is gain oriented. Hmm? And you know the, the, why this thing is very, very important. <laughs> this nature, and tattva and quality. Say someone, some uh, male is having a lot of uh, rajas and a lot of fire. A lot of fiery planets influencing the ascendant, Lagna Lord and the fiery Rashi also. A lot of fire is, is there in the ascendant. You get this married to a lady having a lot of airy influences on the ascendant. You know what will happen? It is rajas and fire. He will have an extra metal affair. This lady will cry at home. Because it's a nature, subhav, you know, nature, subhav. It is the quality. The quality of the person is fire plus rajas. They should get married to another fire plus rajas. So both of them will be rajasic and both of them will be fiery. So it is not committing sins together. It is not committing sins, right? Because they are also fiery, they are also fiery. Otherwise, if one is fiery and another is not fiery, one feels like having something. Another is like, no, I am not interested. This leads to sadism in life. This is what happens, right? Slowly, slowly love will die. And if you want to save it, you should save it right from the moment when you got married, point one. But just one more point. Person is fiery, ascendant. Fiery, fiery influence, right? I will not use the word ascendant because there are many other formulas. So person is fiery. Wife is not fiery. Say wife is airy. Airy is relax oriented, relaxed mode. Airy is more like, okay, 2 p.m. we take food. If it is 159, no food. 2 p.m. we take food. So this is always my case. If class is at 9 p.m., link after 9 p.m. 8.55, I don't believe in 8.55. No, no. 8.55 is not 9. 9 plus is 9. Whatever. This is air. Fire is fire. Okay. As soon as I am free of the work, initiate the new work. Both of these people get married. They don't go along together, right? But will they take divorce the next day? No. Suppose this lady who is airy, not going well with the fire, at the time of marriage is going through Sun Mahadasha. Now Sun is a fiery planet. So by the time this Sun Mahadasha is there, she will try to cope up with the fiery nature of the person and everything will go fine. As the Sun Mahadasha will be over, hell broke loose. And then the problem will start. Are you getting my point? So this works at multiple levels to understand the person, nature, quality, personality, trait of the person, point one. And also to understand the nature, behavior, and character of planet so that you can make thousands of signification. You know what? When I knew, knew, came to astrology, na, one problem came in front of me. So I started doing consultations from, I think, 2014-15. Or even before that, 
around 2015-16, there was someone who contacted me and he was like, sir, I am in live-in relationship with a lady. Do you think will I get married? I scratched my head. I never heard a combination for live-in relationship. And this is something new that is coming. Nowadays, people ask cryptocurrency. Where do you see cryptocurrency from? Right. So then we use that basic funda. Okay. Live-in relationship should be signified by this house and this planet. But how do we make it? How do we make a new signification if that is not in the world, in existence before this? This is the point. On, this is the crux. And where does it help you? It helps you in delinking. I will give an example. The uh, airy signs are more related to intellectual pursuit. Right? So if the 10th house is having influence of air, not airy rashi. See, airy rashi have lit least level of air. Airy planets have high level of air because planets are living being, right? So if a planet is air, it is regenerative. If the rashi is air, air is maximum in the childhood and then it is diminishing by age and time. So rashi is a depleting resource. Planet is a regenerative resource. You have to understand it. planet will regenerate. If there is a fiery rashi in the seventh house, one can have affair before marriage. After marriage, he may not have. Getting my point? Because it is a depleting resource. But if there is a fiery planet in the seventh house, it is a regenerative resource. Person will have affair again and again. Regenerative and depleting. This is the difference. Coming to the point. Suppose the tenth house is having aspect of Rahu, having uh, Saturn, aspect of Saturn, St. Louis situated in the sign of Saturn, it indicates intellectual pursuit. If the person is in a profession that doesn't satisfy his intellectual pursuit, he will not be happy into it, for sure. So he should be in a work which satisfies his intellectual pursuit. He should be in banking, accounts, taxing. This intellectual pursuit should be there. Otherwise, he will feel dissatisfied and discontented. And what do you do? When there is a horoscope of a 55 years old guy in front of you, he's saying, I am very dissatisfied from my life. And you see, this is the reason because in 10th house, this is happening and the person is a property broker. Basically, no intellectual pursuit happening in his life. That's why he's dissatisfied now in late 55. So you tell him that you switch to some intellectual profession. He will tell me, sir, for 20 years of my life, I am into this business. Now, I cannot go into the intellectual pursuit, right? So I will tell him, start writing a book. Or start doing something like this. It will help that craving of intellectual pursuit. And then he will have a happy, satisfied, contented life, good relationship with parents, children, and everyone. Satisfaction in life. This is how the elements work. This is, I think, the major part of the, like, the most important topic according to me. I am also going to teach Raj Yoga. Many people may think Raj Yoga is an important topic, but I think Raj Yoga is easy. This is not. Right? So though there are many things in the course, right? The uh, product page is on the website. You can go and check that. Thank you for being with me today. Okay. We'll meet soon. And either another classes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.